Have you ever felt like the AI model you're using is biased and perhaps not a very reliable source of information? Today we're going to be talking about GRASS, a DPN protocol that might come and solve this issue. Before we get into it, I'm Gio, an associate consultant at Economics Design, and I'm here again trying to distill this topic and make it easier for all of you to understand. So let's get into it. Here's the thing. An AI model is only as good as the data it relies on, right? So if you feed an AI only a certain type of information or data, it will most likely be biased and will not provide an all-around information and perspective. And this could be a big problem, and especially if we think of the scale which AI can get in the next couple of years. AI will probably be ingrained in everything that we do, so any type of bias will have a very large effects in, in our society. Now, this is precisely what GRASS protocol is trying to solve with their recent update. They are a decentralized network that is aiming to address issues of bias in AI models by ensuring transparency in data sources and also a varied um, collection of data throughout many different places. They're also using the deep in narrative to make this possible and they're enabling individuals like us to contribute to the protocol and to earn rewards. So what is the solution? How are they planning on solving this bias? Well, it's pretty simple. The more data an AI model has, the more diversified the data is. And then, obviously, the less biased the AI will be. Think about a student getting ready for a big test. So, if they've only studied one book, their answers might be too one-sided. But if another student reads five to six books of the same topic, they'll understand different viewpoints better. So their answers will be more complete and less likely to have mistakes because they've looked at the subject from many angles, right? That makes sense. And AI is pretty similar. Now, what GRASS is trying to solve and how they're trying to solve this issue is by ensuring models are fed with information from many different websites. So they use individuals like us to scrape information from websites from different regions. So if you're in the US, you're gonna be scraping different data than people from Europe, from Asia, and South America, for example. And then it records the metadata on the blockchain. And what this does at the end of the day is that it creates a transparent trail, showing exactly where the data was originated from. And here's the kicker. Nodes are rewarded for their contributions, incentivizing them to collect quality data. And when we say nodes, we mean us, right? So if you have the Grassy's extension and you're running their software, you're providing this work on the background of your computer and you can get rewarded for your contribution. But I know, you might be wondering about scalability. Um, Grass anticipates processing over 1 million requests per second, which is a very large number. And most of the traditional networks that we have nowadays simply can't handle it. And that's where the deep end update comes in. Grass plans to implement a layer 2 solution with verification on the blo Solana blockchain ensuring lightning fast processing without compromising or on security or decentralization. So they're going to process all the information in their L2 and then they're going to put this information into Solana as a security measure. So looking ahead, Gress is really looking for a future where third party applications can tap into their network, can feed from that data and use whatever requirements they have for the AI solutions, right? So imagine apps like Midjourney, for example, utilizing GRASS data layer instead of building their own AI models, which, which can take a lot of time and it can also be very costly. And when you think of this, it does not only streamlines the development because it, it becomes faster and cheaper, but also promotes fairness and transparency across industries, right? So you don't need to worry about biases because you know that the AI data comes from a very diversified set of, set of information and this will give you a, a better output. So in conclusion, the GRASS protocol update is a game changer for the AI landscape and also for DeepN. So they're unifying both narratives in the same protocol and the same update. By providing the data origins, so the source, and also having more transparency, GRASS is really uh, um, leading the way for this impartial AI future, right? So this is a very uh, big kind of vision and if executed correctly, it can be, uh, it can create a very good tool for, for the entire ecosystem. We're going to be following this, so please stay tuned for any other updates. We'll continue to explore this intersection of AI, blockchain, DPIN, and any new updates, any new information, we're going to be bringing this to you, at, um, of course. So 
that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this content if you like this kind of this kind of explanation. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.